Hi, I'm Kelly Mancia. I'm a registered nurse. I work in the sleep lab as a sleep navigator for Powers Health. Today I want to speak about good sleep hygiene for seniors. In my experience, I have seen that if patients are not getting good sleep, especially in the senior population, it directly affects their health in a negative way. If they have diabetes, it can be uncontrolled and their blood pressure could be uncontrolled as well. For good quality sleep, these are the tips I would recommend to patients. First and foremost, we need to stop the blue light at least an hour before bedtime. That's the electronics, that's the cell phones, that's the iPads. We need to give our brain time to rest before actually trying to fall asleep. When we're putting the blue light in front of our face, it's a constant to the brain, and so we need to tell it to rest. It's time to get to sleep. I also recommend running a fan in the background for noise, uh, dark lighting, a good bed, good pillow, um, no really music in the background. I wouldn't recommend that. You could do some na natural nature scape type things, maybe in the background on like a stereo, something like that. Um, but really the key is to get to sleep, keep a good sleep schedule, same time, go to sleep, wake up at the same time. That's gonna let your body know that, hey, it's nine o'clock, it's time to start going to bed. Hey, it's six in the morning, it's time to wake up. So your body will get into a routine as well and that will help lead to good quality sleep. If after you went through those sleep hygiene tips that I've recommended and you're still not getting that good sleep, I would recommend that you talk to your doctor to investigate that further with a sleep study to see what's going on with your sleep. I'm actually sitting in one of our sleep study rooms where you would spend one night and we would watch you sleep and further analyze if there was any further issues going on.